What is going on everyone? Platinum Bees coming at you with yet another video today. Today we're going to be talking about the 2024, yes that's right, 2024 Palladium Eagle. We're going to take a look at what the U.S. Mint has to offer or what their plans are or things of that nature. And we're also going to talk a little bit more about the Palladium Eagle. But for all of that, we're going to go over to the screen cam because I'm going to take a look at the mintage numbers and the U.S. Mint's website and what they have to offer and things like that. So I'll see y'all over there. Okay, everyone, so I've got the U.S. Mint website pulled up here, and we are going to go here to product schedule. We're going to go to 2024 product schedule, and we are going to scroll down here. Now, as you can see here, they already have a lot of listings open and ready to go with photos and everything, but we are going to make our way down almost to the very bottom to the fall 2024 listings, and that is where we will find the one ounce palladium proof American Eagle for 2024. Now, if we click on it, we can see there's no photo available yet. And it says TBD, this product will be available for sale in fall of 2024. So this does not have a release date as of yet. So we will just have to wait and see. They also don't have a mintage limit listed. However, they have a household order limit of 10. So not a lot of information has been released about the Palladium Eagle. And the U.S. Mint always could take this page down and just decide not to do a Palladium Eagle altogether. Perhaps that's why they're waiting before they release any information because this metal has been the most volatile and the most impacted thus far this year. We see it just continue to go down and down and down. So perhaps they're waiting until it levels off at some point and they can acquire some palladium or maybe they just will decide not to do it at all. In the past, the U.S. Mint has had somewhat of a difficult time selling their palladium eagles, especially when spot price was just straight up to the moon. And so who knows what they're going to do this year. But we don't have a photo. We don't have anything really to go on other than this basic listing that could be removed by the U.S. Mint. But what we can do is we can go over to coins and see if they have any previous year Palladium coins listed still for sale from years prior. So if we go over here to shop and coins and we click Palladium coins, we can scroll on down and take a look. So we can see here that the 2023 is still available for sale at a price point of $1,900. And they don't have any of the other years. So the 2020 sold out, the 2021 sold out, 2019 sold out, 2022 sold out. All they have left is the 2023. And this coin had a managed limit of 6,000. So that's not a lot of coins for them to sell. So I think they realized that sort of demand for palladium kind of just went straight to the bottom. And they're like, mm, we're sitting on a lot of coins. I don't know if we're gonna make a 2024. Now, one thing going for this coin, it is, it is a very collectible and very limited managed coin. I think the US Mint likes offering this because they do realize there's somebody somewhere out there who wants this coin. They buy one of each or whatever, gold, silver, platinum, and palladium US Mint coins just simply because they are coins minted by the US Mint and they are precious metals one way or another. No matter where the price is going, these metals are all precious metals given that they are rare, they are used in industry, and they are seen as such by the world, essentially. So, will the U.S. Mint actually end up making the 2024? I can't say for certain. I know they made the 2023 and they made it very small mintage and the price point and everything going for it, it's just not selling. And they might be sitting on this for a while and they might actually have to take a loss on this. I don't know how that works with the U.S. Mint as far as taking losses, whether they do that or they just melt stuff down and resell it. I have no idea. Or they'll just let it sit forever. Let me know in the comment section below if you know more about that than me. However, this is interesting to look at. So will they release the 2024? That is yet to be determined. But what we can also do is we can go over here and we can look at the Wikipedia page. I've got the mintage figures pulled up here and we can take a look because this will give us some insight, okay? So, for the first year of 2017, the U.S. Mint decided to mint bullion or uncirculated palladium coins. This is very different from what they did all of the rest of the years. They decided the first year they were going to mint bullion uncirculated and then every year after that they decided to add the W Mint mark 
and make it somewhat of a collectible sort of coin. So they made proof coins in 2018. They made coins in 2019. I forget what, what variant it was, but it was a specific variant. I believe it was reverse proof, I suppose, as we can see here. In 2020, they made them bullion uncirculated. So I think these were actually burnished if memory serves me correctly. So they weren't just simply bullion or uncirculated, but they were like burnished coins. 2021, it looks like they decided to go back to doing the proof. And in 2021, demand must have been so great that they decided to release proof and bullion uncirculated versions, which is very interesting. So it looks like the US Mint over the years has decided to make this a sort of experimental coin, okay? Another interesting aspect about this Palladium Eagle is the design does not necessarily change. The finish changes over the years, but the design does not. So the U.S. Mint has decided to make this sort of a limited coin that they change year in and year out. And then once they've gone through all of the different variants, they just kind of circle back and redo them once again. Now we can see what's interesting is 2023 has the lowest mintage limit. So even though the price is $1,900, that's kind of interesting that that's the lowest mintage year. So it might be worth picking up if you are a heavy collector and stacker or just a collector. The fact that it's only 6,000 Palladium Eagles made in 2023 and it could be the last year of the Palladium Eagle, both could be things going for it. Overall, it looks like the U.S. Mint has minted over, just over 100,000 Palladium Eagles. Obviously, this is on the back burner for a lot of stackers, mines, so their mines don't really go to buying this coin as a stacker, right? This is much more of a collectible coin. This isn't even comparable to Palladium Bars or even the Palladium Maple Leaf, which was released by the Canadian Mint a while back, in that... This coin has always had the highest premium of all, even though Eagles typically have higher premiums. This one's been way above spot price, and I believe a lot of that has to do with the U.S. Mint just trying to make this more of a collector's series item than a stacker item. Similar to the Platinum Proof Eagles that the U.S. Mint puts out every year where they do limited mintage, they change the design. It's very much a collector's piece, very much more than a stacker's piece. So overall... Will the U.S. Mint release the 2024? I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. If I have to guess, I'm going to say they're probably going to announce it sometime in the summer if they do decide to do it. So keep an eye out on that. If you go to the U.S. Mint's website, you always can click the Remind Me button if we go back to the listing for the Palladium Eagle. If you are one who likes stacking those or just can't wait to get your hands on one, you can click remind me and the U.S. Mint will send you an email letting you know all the information about the release and things of that nature. But yeah, y'all, that's all I have for you today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you are anticipating this coin to be released or if you think the U.S. Mint is just going to give up on it overall. Be sure to hit the like button on your way out. Hit that subscribe button so you can always stay up to date with future updates on the Platinum Beast channel. With all that being said, until next time, we'll see y'all.